down and I started to cry. I mean, I just, I was just shocked out of my mind. It's an investment gone wrong. Watch Buyer Beware tomorrow on 24 Hours. Don Nasser. I spent a lot of time watching him as a kid because Dad wouldn't let us change the channel. But now I wonder if I shouldn't have paid closer attention. It sure paid off for another kid. Uh, my parents actually listened to a lot of Don Messer. Actually, I think this is the one that uh, that we had on 8-track. Or at least you a would lot listen of the to tunes. 8-track? Yeah, we had 8-tracks and uh, played them in the car all the time on our trips. And I think this, this is uh, the new improved version of it. On CD. On CD. But you've got your own recordings out now. Yeah. They're over here. This is my latest one. Yes, Hello. at 24 years of age, Hello. Winnipeg's Patty Kostorik is already doing Don Messer proud, grabbing her fair share of fans of the fiddle. There's nobody that performs like Patty. For quite some years, we've been following her. Uh, we go to a lot of the dances she plays at. We've been in a lot of fiddle contests where she has most of the time won. The first time we saw her play as a little girl, we thought, I said to my wife, if that girl doesn't go someplace, there'll be something funny. In Lorette, Patty's home was filled with music and still is, thanks to her dad. But she's since filled it with fiddling trophies. She uh, got interested in uh, playing a fiddle at the age of four. She started taking lessons from Suzuki. And uh, later on, she uh, started taking uh, old-time music and some classical. And uh, from there, she just continued on and uh, I guess this is why she has all the trophies uh, actually there are <laughs> still more trophies there are some in the uh, basement and some out in the shed they include the titles of Canadian junior champ seven-time Manitoba champ and just about every fiddle festival in between I don't think she got it from me because uh, I have to do a lot of practicing and I still don't have things down properly <laughs> Don Messer aside, Patty credits two people with developing her fiddling finesse. Her longtime teacher, Michael Dubas. He was the one that actually told me to develop my own style, you know, to not um, try and copy anybody's style. Take whatever you want from everybody and then incorporate it into your own style. So that was a really valuable piece of advice for me. Her other main influence may not offer advice as much as adoration. But I have a, a son, three-year-old son, that uh, he requires a lot of attention and, you know, everything uh, pretty much comes second to him. You know, I still have my career and everything, but uh, he comes first and he loves the music, so he's very supportive when I practice at home. He's taught me a lot about um, patience. <laughs> I realized that, uh, you know, I got to keep plugging away at it and, you know, I want to continue and, you know, provide a good life for him. So it's a lot. It's a, he's a big inspiration. Practicing fiddle at home for hours each day, playing her fiddle at dances and parties on weekends, you think Patty would look forward to hanging up the old bow when she heads to her day job. These fiddles have been up on the wall here since I was 
taking lessons starting when I was six. And now I teach out of the same room that I spent so much time in as a kid. So it's kind of come full circle, I guess you could say. Start with the Sky Boat song, okay? I really get a lot of uh, satisfaction because now I have, you know, almost 40 students and it's nice to be able to help them along with it and, you know, coach them along. Good. And this little sign here, the fermata, you, so you just hold it, yeah, hold it even longer. Than All that practicing and playing has paid off for Patty, not only in terms of a full-time career, but as of last year, she holds the title of Canadian Grandmaster Fiddle Champ, the first woman to ever do so. It didn't even cross my mind, really, that I, that I might win it until the moment that uh, they announced my name. Like, I was just blown away. And, uh, you know, it, it's really made a big difference. You know, the Canadian Grandmaster Fiddling Champion. You know, it, it, it sounds great. <laughs> So where does the Canadian Grandmaster Fiddling Champ go from here? Pretty much wherever her bow draws her, if it means Patty gets the chance to follow her dream. My ultimate dream would be to, uh, to play in a band with uh, George Strait or something like that. So yeah, I'd like to definitely play for a big name. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a bribe, but don't go away. Coming up, a doctor who goes to the dog. Who do you call long distance?